You guys excited to see the president? Very excited, definitely. Why'd you decide to come out? Well, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is a historic moment for Austin and for this festival, South by Southwest, because it's gone from being this small conference to a conference with thousands and thousands of people where people make news and politicians now come here. Uh, the biggest entrepreneurs come here. Uh, and it's not just about kind of the hot news startup anymore. It's really turned into this overarching, let's look at technology and society and how we can make a difference. And what's really historical about uh, President Obama coming here is he's speaking to entrepreneurs. He's going directly to entrepreneurs and saying, we need you to make a difference. How do we create a system where the encryption is as strong as possible the key is as secure as possible. It is accessible by the smallest number of people possible for a subset of issues that yep. we agree are important. In the last couple of years, what's really interesting is you see this crossover between Silicon Valley and Washington, D.C. It's the beginning of digital government. Are you the reason that Obama came to, to speak here at Austin, Texas? It's a whole group of us, especially, okay. you know, a whole range of colleagues, but really it's him. You know, he really wants to make sure this message from today, get involved. What is your sell to the folks from Google and Amazon who think, oh, I don't know if I could go to Washington. This seems kind of bureaucratic. What is your sell to get entrepreneurs in and this kind of startup that you guys have, have built? It's, it's pretty simple. It's that uh, you have a unique opportunity right now uh, to use your skill sets and your talents to help a huge number of people. So I had never thought of working in the government. It hadn't occurred to me. But I can't imagine not doing this job. It's the honor of my life. If, if your argument is strong encryption, no matter what, and we can and should, in fact, create black boxes, that, I think, does not strike the kind of balance that we have lived with for 200, 300 years. So President Obama just spoke, uh, kind of calling on lots of entrepreneurs to get involved, to make a difference, to solve the world's bigger problems. So everyone is just pouring out. I'm going to ask them what they thought of his speech. Hey there. Hi. What did you think of the speech? That it was absolutely fantastic, really inspiring, and very empowering for each and every one of us as we're trying to make changes in the tech industry. Comments about how the government's problems are a lot bigger than the problems we face in the private industry. It was something so obvious, but something I'd never thought of before. You know, I was surprised when he said, I'm not really going to talk about the Apple, Apple, FBI, I'm not going to say anything. But then he went on like a good five or six minute kind of rant about it, right? <laughs> I think it was more like 10 minutes. Yeah, it was about 10 minutes. Right. I was interested well, to yeah. hear what he, you know, thought about that um, and it was reassuring to hear that he comes down on the side of civil liberties. This really is this group of amazing, uh, you know, intellectuals who are here for uh, to make technology better. So what better way to be inspired than by the president? But I think it's safe to say that in 2016, uh, the importance of technology uh, and understanding that while running a country is not going to change. Um, this technology is not going to be any less relevant for the next president than it is for this one. Um, hopefully the next one will empower it.